All right, so I want to talk about Airbnb today. Um, so my name's Steve Coleman, uh, and I have presented notes, fantastic. So who here has heard about Airbnb or stayed in Airbnb? Awesome, almost everyone. Who's hosting on Airbnb at the moment? Great, a lot less people. So uh, who would like to make an extra $1,000 every month basically doing no extra work? <laughs> Limited, but that's okay, cool. All right, so I'm Steve Coleman. I run uh, HostKeep. We're a property management business um, that specializes in short stay and Airbnb uh, rentals. Um, so the apartment you see in this, uh, in this slide is actually one of our clients um, and one of the properties that we manage. So uh, it's also got a bit of a secret. Um, so the owner doesn't know it's listed on Airbnb uh, and the tenant's actually kind of illegally subleasing that uh, through us <laughs> uh, to our guests. Um, Kind of illegally, we'll go into that. Um, so look, he's doing really well in it. There's good cash to be made, but you've got to be a little bit careful. So this is that client's property management statement from February. Um, we pay out over $4,000 to that owner, and that's after taking out uh, our management fee and the cost of cleaning, toilet paper, et cetera. Um, out of these earnings, he also pays his landlord about $1,800 in rent, and that leaves him around $2,000 in profit at the end of the month. So we take care of all of the management um, and he has direct debits sorting out all of the ongoings, the utilities, et cetera. So it's basically a completely passive investment for him. Um, but not every property is so successful. So a little planning goes a long way when you're looking at doing something like this. So here are our seven tricks that we've seen um, from our owners who are absolutely nailing it. Okay, number one is you need to find a property. So first thing first, Certain suburbs and buildings work a lot better than others. Um, I'll give you the shortcut to success here. Firstly, keep it one bedroom, uh, 40 to 50 square metres. So fairly small, you kind of want a hotel room style experience, but with a bit more space. Location is really important as well. So St Kilda's amazing in summer, but it's not consistent. So we find if you're looking at a suburb, stay with the CBD. And if you find something with a close proximity to Flinders Street or Southern Cross Station, that's probably gonna do pretty well. Partially furnished is also really good. Um, this will also save on some of the initial onboarding costs to get things up and running. Uh, finally, rent, don't pay much more than 400 to 440 per week, and that's gonna keep down your monthly ongoing costs. All right, now to consider the contract. Um, so you've found the perfect apartment, now comes the hard part, you've gotta go and sign a lease. So you've got two options here. You can be really upfront with your agent, and go and say, these are my intentions, I want to put it on Airbnb. Uh, you might find a progressive agent, but we find, uh, in our experience, people are a little bit more conservative and they think there's a bit more risk involved than there actually is. The alternative is doing what our client did and uh, just taking a lease and putting it on Airbnb themselves. So it's important to note that this approach actually isn't illegal. Um, and we're pretty certain it's actually not even a breach of the subleasing clause in the contract. Um, this has recently been tested by tenants in VCAT and they won the case. Now you've signed a lease, you want to move quickly. Uh, so every night that you don't have a guest staying in there is a night you're losing money. So start by creating a dummy listing on Airbnb and just put in some basic details so you can get something up and running. Once you've got a listing ready, you need to get some photos. So one of the really great benefits of having a, a property on Airbnb is they're gonna pay for a, a professional photographer to come in and take photos for you. Um, this really helps the place shine and really helps your listing stand out over other listings on there. One of the things to be aware of though, it does take about three weeks for a photographer to come down. So you wanna get that uh, appointment for the photographer booked in as quickly as possible. So you need to furnish in your apartment. So it's time for a trip to Ikea, get those meatballs. Um, so you can choose to buy the cheapest couch, the cheapest TV um, and bath mats, uh, those kind of things okay, but there are a few things you wanna spend a bit more money on. First, get an Apple TV. So we provide our guests Netflix, HBO Go and Hulu. It costs us about 30 bucks a month to do that, but we get incredible feedback as a result of it. So I highly recommend looking at that. What we find most importantly though is pillows. So you can be really cheap on your mattress, but you really want to invest in the highest quality pillows you can afford. Get too hard and too soft, so you give your guests a couple of options there. Now, hiring a cleaner. So you could choose to do the cleaning yourself um, and the cleaning between stays, but what happens when you've got a same day booking and you're stuck at work? 
Play it smart and outsource this task to somebody else. So Gumtree and Airtask are really good for this, um, or you could hire a property manager like us to help. Planning the guest greet. So what you see circled in the background there is one of our key safes. Um, so you've got bookings, you've got guests arriving. What we find with guests is they never really know what time they're gonna be in, flights are delayed, so you can't really organize a time to actually meet them. Um, personally, to fix this, we use key safes. So we've got a whole range of key safes stuck to different parts of the Melbourne CBD, um, and most of them don't get chopped off by council. Um, we attach them to whatever we can find on the street and provide our guests very detailed instructions as to where they find them, so there's no issues upon check-in. The final point I make is pay your damn tax. Um, so you're all set up with guests checking themselves in. You've outsourced your cleaners to do all the work between the stays. The only thing you have to really think about now is paying the tax on your earnings. Um, the ATR out there watching are actually starting to see some of our owners getting pinged and having questions asked, so pay your tax. Keep notes and records of any expenses so you're ready for the end of the year. So look, that's it, you're ready to get started. Um, uh, if you're keen to host, you can also use our referral link there, uh, so you'll get 70 bucks when you sign up to host. Um, and any questions, drop me a tweet. Thanks a lot.